there are some people who can whistle like it was an opera. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some of us who can't at all. Tonight, you are going to meet a woman who is beyond a good whistler, way beyond. Yeah, she's not just a professional whistler. She's a star at it, like she's whistled for the Barbie soundtrack for the movie. Does it get better than that? Well, yes, it does. Talk about whistling while you work. Here's Kimberly Richardson. In the orchestra of distinct New York City sounds, a sweet note. Molly Lewis is a professional whistler born with a unique talent that has resulted in a successful musical career. She just released her debut album, but all of this really happenstance. I was working in the film industry and I kind of kept getting whistling opportunities and it kind of slowly snowballed. More like an avalanche, Molly opens April 1st at the Bowery Ballroom. She's now fittingly known as the whistler people call. Dr. Dre's called um, for some dope whistles. That was, <laughs> I performed on the Barbie score, which was, you know, a, a huge thing. Molly has no formal training. She jokes there is no Swiss whistling academy. But as a teen, after seeing a documentary on competitive whistling, well, the rest was history. My dad said if I ever got into that competition, he'd take me there, and so, we went when I was 22. She eventually placed first and left with a strong sense of self, having met a new diverse community. <laughs> Molly tells me the key to what she does, having a good ear for music and extraordinary control of her breathing. I whistle breathing in and out, so it's not circular breathing, it's just breathing, but I'm making sound as I breathe. No doubt, a breath of fresh air. People have told me that they are moved by my music, and that's, yeah, that's the best. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.